Hi everybody, my name is Sonam Sandi. Thank you so much for joining me. Today we're going to be making Besan Kapura, also known as Besan Kajilla or Chickpea Flour Pancake. Super healthy with kale and lots of spices uh, packed with protein. The main reason this came about was I had a box of baby kale that was kind of going out the door. Um, wasn't great for salad, but I didn't, definitely didn't want to waste it. So I threw a bunch of kale into my Vitamix. I added some water. And then I also had some bottoms of cilantro that I had used up um, earlier. So I threw that in there as well. So you just turn on the blender. I added some garlic. Begin breaking that down. And then really what you're looking for is something that's liquidy that you would add normally to your chickpea base um, and just adding a lot more nutrients than just plain water. I'm also going to add just a little nubbin of ginger I had peeled and throw it right into the blender. And really you can flavor this with anything that you want or anything that you want to use up in the fridge. A great way to also add in things that your family or kids normally wouldn't eat. So now I'm going to take basin or just standard chickpea flour and I'm also going to add rice flour for texture and crispiness so it doesn't taste um, too doughy or chewy. I'm going to add in everything that we had in the blender and start breaking it down and mixing it up. The color is absolutely gorgeous. I'm sure the kids may not feel that way, so luckily it gets cooked down. <laughs> I just rinsed out the blender, adding a little bit more water, and then I just keep checking and playing with the consistency to find something similar to like a pancake batter. I added some chopped onions and some cilantro. You can add anything you want here, chilies, curry leaves. And then just season to taste. I added salt, red chili powder, and cilantro powder. And then I also added in some jat masala to give it some zing. It's super important that you taste the batter before you start making them. Uh, chickpea flour can be very dense and has a very particular flavor. So I added some more salt, a little bit more chili, and then I feel like it needed some more acidity to it to break down the heaviness of the chickpea flour. So I, I then went ahead and added half of a lemon juiced. So you want to give it your last and final mixy mixy, check your consistency, and then you also want to just check your flavor one last time. Go ahead and prepare your pan. I like using the non-stick for this. I sprayed it with some olive oil spray so you can keep it vegan like this and use a vegan butter at the end. Um, and it's not really very spreadable, so you definitely don't want your pan too hot. Go ahead and spread it out nice and even and let it cook really well on one side. It'll take quite a bit of time. Just look for a nice brown color on the bottom, keep checking it, and you'll see that the color starts to change, so the moisture will start to evaporate. So while it's cooking on the other side, I was just preparing my sides, so I got some chutney and some yogurt. You can serve it with onions or whatever you want, some raita. I just put a tab of butter, and that's it. This is a great quick lunch. You can make these in advance and have them ready to go in the fridge. Great to hide lots of veggies for the kids and super healthy. When my husband ate one, he even gave me a great idea. Um, you can use these as wraps and load them up with even more amazing veggies. He wanted to eat it with a kebab. <laughs> um, so you can roll up if you made like paneer kebabs or regular kebabs and kind of have it like a gati roll roll up. A uh, million ways to use it, but a great base, great alone, or with lots of stuffs inside. 
I hope you like the video and are inspired to make your own version. And if you do, please let me know how you liked it.